I got my YouTubers. Welcome to another Maple Leafs pre-game conference live in um, Sweden. I was like, you know, live to Sweden for their pre-game conference in Gladys. Yes, a reminder that we play Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock, and then we play early Sunday morning. So after that game is done Sunday morning, I'll have an early highlight um, show after the game is done. So stay tuned for that. And then Wednesday, tomorrow, the Raptors play the Milwaukee Bucks at the Scotia Bank Arena. So stay tuned for that. Now I'll take you live to Sweden for the Maple Leafs pregame conference. Yeah, I mean, it's been a dream to come back here and play. I didn't think that that would happen in my career to play an NHL game in Sweden, so that's going to be very special. What do you, what do you plan for your team here? Uh, we're going to see here what day we, uh, we decide to do something, so uh, we'll figure it out. How, how does it feel to be home and, and play at home? Yeah, obviously very special with family and, I mean, friends that might not have been able to see me play live uh, in, uh, in the NHL, so that'll be lots of fun. How many tickets? Uh, around maybe 90 to 100 tickets for, not per game, for both games. Did you say the other day that your grandmother will be here? Yeah. Has she seen you play in Toronto? Or no. no. So she hasn't seen yeah, you? Yeah, so that would be special for sure. That's actually beautiful. Yeah. Hold your grandmother. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Old. <laughs> what do you think that this kind of trip, like abnormal trip, can do to the team cohesion and like social things in the in your team? Yeah, I think it's great for team building to get out here, and I mean, we'll do some things together uh, while we're here. So I think that would be very good for the team. What's the talk on between the Swedes since you've got several? Uh, no, everybody's just happy to be home, have some Swedish food, and obviously seeing family and friends uh, again. Uh, this uh, short into the season. Have you taken the team to Ikea already? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just got here and got, got to practice, so we got lots of time left to do that. If there's one thing that you could do in Sweden, what, what would it be? Either at a team event or just you uh, walking the streets alone or whatever. What would you do? Uh, I mean, usually just go out and eat dinner and just hang out. I think that would be what, would, what we would do. But, um, I mean, we're so busy here when we're, we've got stuff going on every day, so... Um, we're going to find some time to do some of that stuff. I guess maybe over the summer, what's one thing that you really look forward to coming back to? Obviously friends and family, just hanging out with uh, with my people. Going to the red carpet tonight? Yeah. What, did, what have you heard about that show or, or what song uh, to you? I mean, I haven't really heard much. I'm just excited to see it and see, uh, I mean, Salming's uh, journey. Any Salming memories? I know you kind of knew Yeah, obviously the one on the ice there when we played a... Uh, Vancouver um, and the ceremony we did for him and then um, yeah just knowing him throughout my time in Toronto has been a few special memories. Do you have a relationship with Matt's at all? Matt's in uh, I mean not really just say hi when I when I see him um, but yeah super nice guy. How was the flight over? That was good you know flying at night uh, a couple hours of sleep uh, right out on the ice uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a good flight over. What does it mean to you? Uh, play hockey. Socially, I guess. Uh, see some family, some family and friends. Uh, other than that, you know, we, we practice and have games, so it's mostly going to be hockey. What does this mean to you to be able to play here? Uh, well, I mean, it's fun to come home to to my country here and you know play play a couple of games in front of in front of Swedish fans and play in front of family and. And friends, uh, it's, it's going to be a fun experience. How many tickets did you have to get? Uh, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> How much of yeah. a team bonding experience do you think this could be? Yeah, I mean, it's always good for for your team to to go away, uh, get some, get to spend some some time together, uh, go to go to new places. So yeah, I think it's I think it's good for our team. Is there anyone in particular? Is there anyone in particular that has never seen you play in the NHL that you're excited will get the chance to see you live? A family, a friend, a coach? Uh, 
Uh, I think pretty much all my family has been been over uh, a couple of times. Uh, but I mean, it's good. It's, it's more people can come here, uh, so it's easier to, to get to Stockholm and to to Toronto. So it's uh, uh, gonna have more people here for sure. How was the fight over? <laughs> uh, it was it was great. Uh, still adjusting, though, of course. And then have a good night's sleep tonight. Some of the guys have said they slept three hours. Like, how do you, how cognizant are you of that, like, on the ice today? Yeah, very. You know, we can't do much today. Today is just really about kind of fire the engines a little bit just to kind of keep them awake through the day. It's just, it's, that's really it. We're trying to, trying to keep them away from the hotel and, and keep them away from being able to, to nap or have the body shut down just because uh, tonight's sleep really is vital to, to set us up for the week. So uh, to, to uh, get to bed at a, at a decent time and be able to sleep through the night really is the priority for the day. The skate was just, like I said, just about kind of firing the engines and getting a sweat. What do you think this can do from a team bonding standpoint? You've talked about how it's happened or it's helped in the road like for his, like long trips, but this is like a, a one-off. You're here for a while. Kind yeah, of. yeah. It, I think it can it can only help. You know, it brings the group closer. The more time you can spend together, whether it was the flight last night. Granted, the lights were out pretty pretty quickly, um, but but just being here, in particular staying in one spot, you know, uh, that just allows us to, to kind of settle in and and uh, spend time together, all of that sort of stuff, and enjoy the experience while also recognizing that these are important games. And um, because they're important games these days, such as today and the adjustment to the time zone and taking care of the body and all of those kind of things, it's really important that we get it right. There's like a lot of fuss around the team, of course, now that you're here in Sweden. How do you like keep focus on that it's still two regular season games yeah that's going to be a big part of our discussion tomorrow i don't think we were any of us were, were really uh interested in hearing too much about that today um it's hard to focus on anything today quite honestly but you know we'll get through the fog here today and, and then get the guys really focused tomorrow but we, we talked before coming out here you know that to enjoy the experience but not get caught up in it to the point that uh we don't give ourselves a chance to, to compete in these games that are just as important as any other game back home have you been to sweden before i've never been to sweden this is i haven't been to europe in 30 years is there anything you're looking forward to doing uh, just looking around and you know, uh, moving around and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, trying to see as much as I can. You know, but uh, at the same time, I'm just excited to you know, see a you know an old building like this and um, you know just different culture and all that kind of stuff. You know, the hotel and the lunch we had today. Um, we, we we had a quick little pit stop at the hotel, not in the rooms, but just to just to get lunch and, and then come here. But uh, just trying to experience what what I can, and, and also I'm I'm excited about. Yeah, you know, I coach a lot of European players, and never, you know, I've never been able to experience, you know, what life is like for them. So I, I've been, it's been fun to talk with them and and uh, try to give them for them to give me a few tips perhaps on where I should or shouldn't go and spend my time and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just trying to take it all in like anybody else. Do you get a sense that, that Willie or Callie or Timothy gave you? Yeah. Uh, Willie's the guy I've talked to the most about it. He's just, as you can imagine, Willie's pretty, pretty, pretty chill. Uh, he just, <laughs> you know, kind of, uh, you know, walk around and take in the sights. So I was really solid about but all, all that he had to offer. But it sounds like Willie himself has got a pretty full plate while we're here. Um, so I'm sure he's excited to be here, but knowing Willie, he, he likes to keep the focus on the hockey. So he'll, he'll, he'll get his obligations out of the way and all that. And I, and I know all our, all our Swedish guys especially will be excited to play on the weekend. And his 15 uh, point streak, what do you say about that, Willie? Yeah, it's, I mean, the point streak is one thing. You know, sometimes there's, Sometimes there's some luck involved in, the, in these in these point streaks and such. It's you know whether the streak continues or whatever it is. That's not the point. He's just played terrific hockey. He's really uh, been a catalyst for us offensively. Uh, his his effort away from the puck defensively has really matched the effort that he's putting forth on offense. So to me, he just looks like he's really focused on having a great season, which is building upon. Last season, I thought he took a big step in his in his overall game last season, and he's taken another one here this year.
Got, com got confused the uh, three game conference. I'll probably have another one for you probably tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you tomorrow night with Raptors Highlights. This is Johnny West reporting for Johnny West Sports Desk, Maple Leaf uh, pregame. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.